Okay, so I am remaking a video that I made, I want to say about three, four months ago in total. Um, this video will be a build showcase with a perk rebalance, skill rebalance uh, mod that I run. Um, I am not going to try to pronounce it because I am unsure of how to properly pronounce it. Uh, but it is the rebalance skill and perks. Uh, there was just an update for it when I got home from work. Um, the author of that mod actually commented on my last build video. And that build video was actually unlisted for a long period of time. So the version that they ended up watching was like my second or third, I want to say, day of playing with it. Uh, could be wrong. I don't fully remember, but I will break down certain skills and why I have them. Uh, as I stated before, not every skill has been changed, only some of them have been. And I will be going over my full build, but only paying a large portion to skills that have been significantly changed. So, for Friendship Aced, this is now where you get Jokers from, instead of it being Joker, which I'm... I believe that's a different name, uh, but Joker is now having two converts, Ace, instead of that being the basic version of it, and Partners in Crime, I believe, is still the same, but they now have a damage reduction of 99%. Um, Tough Guy is an entirely new perk, I believe. This used to be a perk that, uh, shock and all, it was this perk used to be. Um, and I run this perk with Anarchist. Because you take 10% damage reduction whenever your armor is depleted. Um, and sniper rounds and other AP rounds don't damage you if you still have armor. So, this is something that comes incredibly handy on most builds because snipers can no longer one-shot you. Um, granted, if there's multiple, you're not going to notice much of a difference. Um... But that is one thing on here that I find very, very enjoyable. Um, mag Plus, it increases the mag of pistols and shotguns by 5, but only if they have a magazine. Um, LMGs, assault rifles, and SMGs by 15. Most of my assault rifle builds, I run this on there. Fully loaded is an increase of total ammo and ammo pickup. Specialist allows your specials like grenade launchers or rocket launchers to pick up additional ammo. I believe the flamethrower has ammo pickup in base. However, I do realize that with this mod, in tandem with this mod or with this skill, uh, it has a much significant pickup rate. Um, lock and load is something that has significantly changed. However, that's not even my favorite part about this, and not even the reason I use this mod. I use this mod purely for Surefire Ace. Uh, your ranged weapon can now shoot through shields. Um, that is something that is um, a complete game changer, and it's not broken enough because your weapon still has a damage fall through, so you're not going to be just full of damaging enemies through shields. However, you can still damage them quite a bit, so... It does help. It is something I think that the base game should have. And you are paying a good amount of points to get this. Uh, lock and load. Um, your rate of fire is increased. Um, and the longer you shoot, the higher your rate of fire technically goes. However, that's not the part of this I focus on. Um, you can actually boost your reload speed up to 100% by getting um, additional kills. And it stacks up to six times, as you can see for the eighth version. Uh, body expertise, I believe, is technically the same as it is in base. Um, I only have the base version for this build because of how I have the points allocated. Uh, sprinter and parkour have been changed. Um, so, sprinting in direction, fire while sprinting, that used to be part of a different skill. Uh, and then you can now reload while sprinting, and this also increases your sprint speed to 25, and that used to also be part of a different skill. Uh, second Wind, I believe, is virtually the same, 
and in specialized killing this is actually part of a different mod that I have that brings back um, the old silent killer um, it's slightly retouched though so it's not as powerful as it used to be but it is it's fucking godsend personally and this build I run with any of the weapons you see on the screen. Yes, I have quite a few modded weapons. However, the funny thing is I don't use most of them. Um, if anyone's seen me live stream, most of the weapons that I use are the HEK, FN, or the Para LMG. Um, this is not the M60 that you know of. This is actually a custom variant of it. Next is my Dodge SMG build. And I only go over the things that are slightly different. Um, so most of this, I believe, is the same. However, Inspire, the base version of it, um, I believe is different because now the interaction speed when you revive somebody is 100% faster. I don't believe that was the case beforehand. I believe it only had the shouting teammates to move faster. So... That's the only thing that I have on this one. Uh, Mac Plus is still the same. Resilience is now, I believe it has a stronger uh, fast bang resistance. So, I have that. Uh, these, again, are all the same. Optical Illusion is for suppressed and concealment. Uh, so yeah, those two builds, one's just a armor, well not really armor, but a max detection build, one's a crit build. However, for it to be a crit build, you notice I don't have low blow, that's because now it's a tier 4, but it's a tier 4 simply for the sake of how powerful it is. I enjoy it being a tier 4, but I would have to sacrifice other things to get it. And while I could get rid of Jokers, playing on Death Sentence, Death Sentence and Death Wish, having Jokers to pull aggro is kind of a need. Um, this is a stealth build, partially. Um, I was doing bank heist last, so that explains most of this. Um, so with this, this is partially changed, I believe, as well. Um, this chameleon is the same, inside mana is the same. ECM specialist is now changed because now you can carry two ECMs and they can open doors with ECM specialist versus it being ECM overdrive. Uh, so you can now block pagers with overdrive and open doors with specialist. Um, Nimble, I believe, is also the same. So, again, these two are all the same. Uh, C4, to my knowledge, is the same. However, Jack of All Trades is no longer a tier 3, it's now a tier 2. Which, to be honest, given how fucking useless it kind of is, this is a better placement for it. Um, I very rarely have ever seen this be used outside of a stealth build. However, I do have a build that utilizes it now for loud because it being a tier 2, therefore it costs less points. Um, this is a dick around build. Uh, this one's not very different either. However, I believe, uh, that the ammo for that would normally be in the skill tree is now on mag plus so you no longer get additional ammo from this however rate of fire is only increased by 25 percent i believe it used to be higher than that uh and i don't use trigger happy because it's a bug skill in base and i have never tried it on this so that is something on me um this is the build where I actually use Jack of All Traits because of that. Um, so I have ammo and C4 fire trap, body expertise. Uh, and this was something that I put aside explicitly for this video. So the reason why I have this build set aside is for a very niche reason. I'm going to equip the Isma. And secondary doesn't matter. Um, but I'm going to probably equip the, uh, yeah, fuck it. I'll just equip, uh, the Remington, right? So, Isma, you can see it has seven at base and 11 total, right? So, it starts off with 11 rounds total. Um, if I go to magazines, this doesn't add anything to it. So... This adds literally nothing at all, and this adds nothing at all. 
I am not sure why in either one of these magazines add any ammo to the weapon at all. Uh, I'm not going to say that this is a result of the rebalance. However, these weapons worked without the rebalance being installed. So, there is that. Um, and the highest you can actually get is with Mag Plus. Because Shogun CQB and Shogun Impact no longer add any ammo to your shotguns. There is nothing that adds the additional 10 rounds to your shotguns that would give them a crazy ammo count. So now you can see this has 16, right? And 16 is not bad. This caps out at 25. Again, that's not bad. But with this, I am pretty much stuck with using the Grims on anything that's a higher difficulty because the Grims is the only thing that can get a high enough ammo count and that all of the magazines work on. I am unaware of why this is a feature and why this is something that happens, but the Brother Grims are the only weapon that this actually works on most of the time. So, I'll probably show up a screenshot of the comment that I had made towards the mod author, and I am explicitly showing you that this is why I don't really use shotguns on this, is because of the ammo count. Now, don't get me wrong, the AA-12 is not that bad, however, with a dodge build, the Sega having that low of an ammo count is a problem. So if you could change Mag Plus to where instead of it being 5 bullets, it was 10 for shotguns and 5 for handguns? Because most handguns have a high enough uh, ammo count as they are. Like, fucking, this has 54. That's something that, like, I don't really need it for. And with handguns having an easier time getting crits, it's not really a necessity for handguns to have... Um, the additional factor in place with it. But, as currently, these are all the builds that I use. Um, nothing overly crazy. Most of these builds can be, well, variants of them can be made uh, in the Manila game. I, to be honest, would recommend this to anyone because uh, the sniper build I used to have, which I don't have anymore, uh, with mind blown and aggressive reload, it actually is a much better sniper setup. However, I do feel like this still shouldn't kill civilians. I know there is a mod in place for that, however, but that's just a personal take from it. Uh, and the rework of the future skill tree, so it's no longer frenzy on top and berserker. Frenzy and berserker are now combined into the same thing. However, you don't have the capping at, I think it was 30 health or 40 health. Uh, but you can, yeah, obviously your health is now capped at 30%. And they pretty much combine Berserker and Frenzy together so it's easier to get to. And it's actually more worthwhile. And I'll probably make a build with that later on and do a showcase for that build alone. But uh, they do have a secondary mod that I may also show as well. And to be honest, that mod may also aid some of the problems I have. But with that mod, uh, example, uh, the loco locomotive, it only has three shots in it. Granted, though they're a powerful three shots, it is still only three shots. Uh, and you don't really have the capacity to raise the ammo on it. And that is something that isn't really that beneficial. Um, I will have a full thing of all the mods I have if you guys want that to be a thing um, so you can see. But I will probably show my mod list end of the video give or take. But yeah, I just wanted to do this small little thing and showing of, you know, my up-to-date builds and then also pointing out the shotgun ordeal. 
Uh, I still run shotguns, just not nearly as much as I would like to, as much as I used to. Uh, this mod makes them not the powerhouse that they are at base game. And again, I'm not blaming the mod author for the problem with the magazines. I believe those magazines come from a different mod entirely, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I wish you all very well, and have a nice rest of your night. Hello, okay, so I am back uh, again, and I just wanted to, I just the weapon rebalance mod. It's a second mod I refer to that uh, the mod author has. So, the Grums, they had 35, they are now down to 26, so that is a decrease in ammo. However, the base damage went from being 49 to now 73, so there is a trade-off with there. A12 has 13. Uh, let me go to this A12, I believe this one has the magazine on it. Yep, this one now only has 13, so you see there is a drop-off on ammo. Isma only has 13, it capped out at 16 earlier. Uh, we're going to go back and check those mods real quick. Um, and potentially see if anything has changed. Nope, it's still a cap of 13 and these two still don't add anything. Uh, it is what it is, but that is something I wanted to bring to the attention is that the ammo is now severely nerfed. However, the damage buff being there does make it beneficial because I can actually make this gun dump just by doing this. And now, I didn't really do as much. Actually, I believe this, it has a suppressor on it, so yeah. This one, all the magazines don't add anything, so. Yeah, I just wanted to showcase that. Um, here, however, I'm pretty sure M60. M60's not changed because it's not a base weapon, however, this is a base weapon, and I'm pretty sure this uh, changes damage wise. I didn't really pay much attention earlier. Uh, I might add comparison numbers on screen. Uh, in a moment, however, I'm just recording to add this on the end of it, so I can actually show the things I wanted to show. Um, and go to the pistols real quick. This one had 50, now it's down to 42. Uh, this one had, I believe, 40, and now it's down to 32. So, yeah, as you can tell, there is a discrepancy difference on certain things. Me weapons work, but I don't use melee enough. I don't think any of us do for me to really speak on that. Uh, that's something I just wanted to add before I go back and re delete. Play anything different. Um, but I'm going to probably play with it for a little bit. Realize I still don't like the changes it makes to some of the weapons, and then go from there because I'm trying to look at specifically like base game weapons because I know one thing it does it makes the amp car a fucking passable rifle which I find hilarious but yeah so um so upload this video and get back to you guys again later